winter has ended, so it's time to crank up the AC. Cheers! What up guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Eddie Bear and today we will talk about smart ACs. So the thing with ACs is, if you don't have a smart AC, you're probably wasting a ton of energy, especially if you're not at home, your AC does not have to be active and you're wasting not only resources, but a lot of energy and this will also hit your bill in the end of the year. With this in mind, Tato is releasing the newest version of the Tato Smart AC Control, the version number three, and they were kind enough to sponsor today's review, so I can give you a full unboxing of the version three, and I will also show you how fast it is to actually set up, cause they have improved a lot of the features and also the whole setup surrounding the smart AC control, and they made it way easier than the version two. And also the version three is way more affordable than the version two ever was. So without further ado, let's see what we have in the box. Version three. Da, 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 da. This is the new Tato Smart AC Control. It looks similar to the old one, but there are some key differences, but let's talk about those later. Also in the box are two adhesive stripes to mount the Smart AC Control. Let's get further down. We have some paperwork. Here is your HomeKit QR code. So this will be needed in order to include the smart AC control in your HomeKit. Also included in this packaging is an EU power connector and also one for UK. So there is no US power connector included in this one here. Then you have the power brick, take your connector, take your power brick, align them like this, twist them and boom, here you go. You have a power connector configured for an EU outlet. Also included is a quite long micro USB cable. So this is plenty long in order to get your smart AC control mounted wherever you want it to. At first glance, there's not much difference between the version two and the version three of the Tato Smart AC controller. But when it comes to the whole setup procedure, there have been a lot of improvements and a lot of things that I criticized myself have been improved on. So I will put up a clock so you can see how long it actually takes to finish the whole initial setup of the Tato Smart AC control. With that said, let's jump right in. Find a nice little spot and start by plugging in your new smart AC controller. Now grab the latest Tato app in the App Store and fire it up. Select the settings in the app, head over to devices and there you can add new devices. Here you can select the smart AC controller and start the setup. Register the device by punching in its serial number and its authorization code, which can be found on the sticker on the front of the device itself. Once you're finished with the registration, it's now time to include your new smart AC in your home kit. For this to work, grant Tato access to your home data. Now grab your phone and scan the right QR code on the back of the smart AC controller with your camera to continue the setup. Once a connection is established, the controller will acknowledge the connection by replacing the numbers on its display with two arrows. At this point of the setup, the controller will try to access your Wi-Fi and it will tell you so by showing you a Wi-Fi signal on its display. Once it's connected, you will get an acknowledgement by a little globe on its display. After the controller is added to your home kit, you will be greeted with a friendly high on the display. Now specify the room where your AC is located within your home and make sure to activate the include in favorites option to get a quick access to its controls. In the next step, your device will try to access the Tato servers and this may take a few seconds, so lean back and enjoy the ride. Once it's finished, it's time for some hands-on action. So we need to teach the controller what kind of AC we have. 
Punch in the name of your AC's manufacturer and select it in the list. In order for Tato to know which specific device you have, they need a sample command from your remote control. So grab your AC's remote and head over to the Tato controller. Once it says recording on the display, punch the on off button once for the mentioned command sample. Once it's received, Tato will try to identify the best command set suitable for your AC. Naturally, you now can verify whether the chosen command set is fully compatible with your AC or not. To do so, select the variation of command sets displayed within your app. While you are testing various commands, the display of your smart AC control will display a dot in order to confirm that it sends out signals to your AC. Once you are happy with your results, hit use this command set to continue your setup. If necessary, additional controller commands will be downloaded. If you're not sure where to put your new smart AC control, it will help you by sending out random commands to your AC so you can verify whether it's still functional in its new position or not. After that, hit done and you're finished! The initial setup is completed in under 4 minutes. Isn't this amazing? If I remember it correctly, it took me somewhere around 20 minutes to finish my first initial configuration of version 2. Another great thing about the version 3 is that you now finally can control all the settings of your AC right from the start without the need to switch to control mode. This means you're setting the target temperature for your AC and you can specify whether you want it to heat or cool or just to dry and you can also adjust the fan speed. The biggest advantage of having a smart AC control is the fact that you can control your AC whether you're at home or not. One thing to control your overall environment is a smart schedule. So you can specify a schedule when you want your AC to run or to be off and you can also set the mode it should be running in on the specified time. The single greatest feature of the Tato Smart AC Control is the possibility to turn off the AC once everybody left your home. With the help of geofencing it will not only turn off the AC once you're leaving, it will also turn on the AC shortly before you arrive at home. This means you will never arrive arrive in a way overheated home ever again. Through the fact that the AC is off when you're not at home, you are doing something good for the environment and also you are saving money in the end. So this means the controller actually is paying for itself at the end of the month. Spoiler alert, if you want to have the geofencing feature active on the version 3, you will have to buy the auto assist skill in order to make it work in the version 3. Version 2 had it for free on board. There is so much more to say about the new Tato Smart AC controller and also about the differences between the version 2 and the version 3. Unfortunately, I'm not able to cover all these things in today's video, but I will do a second video where I cover all these topics. With that said, I hope you liked today's review and if you have any questions surrounding the controller, hit me up in the comments and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and well, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Peace!